Well, hey guys, it's Dustin here from DG's. You know, we do get a lot of trucks in this shop, but we always forget to mention to our customers that are really local. We do all things automotive. So today we're gonna to go over some of the pros and cons and the ins and outs of brakes and a good brake job with good quality parts. Brakes, brakes, brakes. So you have a car or an SUV or a van just like everybody else does in this, in this neighborhood. And you notice that you start to get a little older and you've noticed that the, you get a weird vibration maybe in your pedal. Maybe when you hit the brakes, the steering wheel does this. Maybe you hear an odd grinding noise that you need to. Maybe it's only back and forward. There's lots of things that can relate to a potential brake problem. So let's get you through the basics of brakes so you know that a good quality trust mechanic like yourself and what they're explaining to you when they go over it. So the basics of brakes, you have a rotor, which is this metal piece that turns, and you have brake pads. And when you put your foot on the brake, you're actually squeezing these brake pads to stop the rotor. Pretty basic, right? What can go wrong though? Well, a couple things that we want to check for as, as mechanics is we want to make sure that the caliper is moving, sliding back and free freely, just like that does there. Now, the idea is you have pins in here that allow us to get an even pull on either side. So as pressure comes out, we squeeze the caliper evenly. As long as everything is working evenly and, and incorrectly, your brake should last a long time and you should have good effect of braking all the time. Now, Listful is located in Ontario, which is a salt province within Canada, which means if a vehicle is driven in winter, as 99% of vehicles are, you might get some buildup of rust in, in the actual brake areas or on the face of the rotor, and that can quickly bring the life of your brakes down. Well, what are we doing with that? Well, let's talk about brake service on the other side of the car for a second. A brake service is something that a lot of mechanics will bring up and a lot of customers don't understand. What a brake service is, is uh, DG's ProTech generally recommends this on average about every 30,000 kilometers or once a year, which is the average person's driving. And in a brake service, we're going to inspect the brakes, usually free of charge, verify that the brakes themselves are moving evenly and freely. Now in this case, I had to push pretty hard to get that brake pad out. Why? Because there's buildup. There's buildup of rust on the edges of where the brake caliper pad sits in its actual holder with the caliper. You can get sometimes, this is your brake friction material that actually has the biting. This area can get, get bunged up with material. All that stuff you see there, that's all brake material. So the idea is we want to clean this area on both sides, as well as the mating area that it sits in. So on your caliper, that'd be down in here. These are any rattle clips. We want to pop those out. We want to clean any rust and corrosion out from under those. And then we want to use a good quality brake lubricant. It's usually silicone based to go anywhere where that brake's going to make contact. It, it, using the word lubricant and brake can be confusing, but basically we want those brake pads to move evenly, so we want them to squeeze the motor and then release every time. And if your brakes do that, every single time you brake, the brakes will last a whole lot longer, nothing will get overheated, and nothing should rust effectively because you're going to be knocking off any surface rust that will build up through the normal, normal time. What can happen is if a brake service is not performing, and one interesting note here with brake service is as the vehicle comes out of the factory, there's no brake lubricant installed on any brand that I know of. So this is something you might even want to consider having done on a newer vehicle if it hasn't had any brake inspection or work done, you know, in the first couple of services and oil changes. Um, we also want to make sure that within the brake caliper, which you see here, we don't have any leakage, there's no buildup of rust, the boot for the piston is sitting correctly. The other thing DG's Protex Tech crew is we want to make sure these piston pins move back and forth and that they don't have any rust on them and they'll also get removed and cleaned up and silicone applied so that they move correctly so everything breaks evenly. Now, to look at this rotor on this customer's car, it's in really absolutely just fine shape. We see good even uh, um, surface, the machine surface that originally there is there. We don't see any effective buildup of rust. You can see exactly where the pad's been running and you can see that everything is working correctly. So there's no need to touch this rotor in any way during a brake service, which is good. We'll go to the back of the vehicle here now and we'll show you what a bad motor kind of looks like. Whenever you're ready. So, my apprentice has done an excellent job here of removing the back brakes on the same vehicle. And as I was speaking before, the back brakes of course are smaller because they don't do as much heavy braking as the fronts. You see that buildup of area? That's just friction material that has become bunged up in that pad compared to one that's not bunged up. Again, these same brake pads have to squeeze effectively on the rear rotors. Now you will notice if you look closely, one pad is, fit, is actually worn about 10 to 15% more than the other, and this vehicle has about 50,000 kilometers on it. The reason that is, is exactly like we spoke about. Those pins were probably slightly 
slightly starting to seize up or not breaking effectively and one pad's gonna wear fast to the other. We have seen in extreme cases, and it happens from time to time, where a customer doesn't understand the importance of that brake service and the vehicle actually comes in and one pad has no friction material on it and the other one looks like it was the day it was put in because one brake pad's been doing all the work. And that's effectively what we're trying to do is extend the life of your brakes so you don't have to spend as much money on your car. There's an organization out there called Be Car Care Aware that has done thousands and thousands of dollars of research to explain that maintenance is cheaper than repair. So if we can make things last by maintaining that over the life of the vehicle, it's always cheaper. We wanted to look at this rotor. Now, we showed you that front rotor, which we can flash back to in a second. But on this rotor, you see we don't have this nice even area. And if you could feel this with your thumb, you'll notice it's very, very heavy pitted with rust. So what effectively happened here is as the brake pad was squeezing on that, because it wasn't squeezing effectively, potentially because this brake area was, was a little bit restricted and free moving, it actually wasn't pushing evenly on that rotor. And then the rotor, just due to road salt and other debris, has started to rust. And this customer's complaint was, brakes vibrate when I apply them. Well, of course they do, because this brake pad effectively is sitting there doing this, going on the rotor, as you're trying to brake. It's not safe, we don't get effective braking, and it's very annoying. If we catch this early enough, you can simply machine these rotors to a nice surface again, provided you make sure you aren't, aren't spec, and you apply maybe a brake, uh, a brake service at the same time and replace the rotors, which is exactly what we're doing in this case. This customer's rotors are beyond machining, based on minimum spec, we'll replace a set of rotors, we'll service up these pads, keep the repair to a bare minimum. So in access talking about rotors, let's talk about quality and price for a second about rotors. Quality of parts versus cost. That is always what the customer wants. We want to make sure we're getting the best quality parts for the best cost possible. Having a trusting mechanic that deals with a couple of brands across the line can definitely get you both ends of the spectrum. And knowing what parts work well with what individual vehicle we're working on will also help us pick the right parts for you, the customer. So, talk about rotors here for a second. This is what a brand new rotor looks like. This is also what a brand new rotor looks like, but you'll notice quite a bit of difference here. For years and years, this was a normal brake rotor you'd see. You'd see a nice machined surface there. You'd see nice, even casting, no plastic flaws and things like that. And that's a brand new rotor that with a bit of brake clean to take the finish off it. There are some chemical compounds you can also put on to extend the life of it as well. That was your rotor of choice. Now, a, a rotor on an SUV like this may run anywhere from a $30 rotor to say a $150 rotor, depending on what the vehicle is and how common it is. And the rotor really wouldn't look much different. Now, of course, warranty and the length of warranty you have on your brake parts is gonna affect price, but there is a difference between the two. Now, as you saw in that rotor we just showed you, there was a bit of rust buildup. We live in Ontario, there's salt and things that are gonna commonly rust that, just do normal wear and tear. How can we combat that? A couple years ago, some very smart engineers said, hey, why don't we coat the rotors in almost like a primer material so it'll get rust buildup on the edges that's gonna cause premature wear of your rotors. And it's a great idea. Um, in this shop, we do like the Delco product line. We have excellent warranty with it. And Delco has what they call their coated line of rotors in their Advantage and also in their pre uh, Premium Series. So coated brake rotor is just going to effectively keep your rotor from rusting prematurely, which means you won't have to have rotor replacement. The idea is we could maybe service these brakes two or three times over life and not have to touch that rotor like we have to on this one in this vehicle. So definitely worth it. Um, other thing you should talk about is, you know, you'll hear customers talk about the dreaded white box parts. I don't want white box parts on my truck. And effectively that's what you have here. You have a no name part in a box, whereas effectively here you've got brand name part. Now, the idea is if you can get a brand name part for an excellent price compared to a white box no name part that really doesn't have much warranty, we don't know where it came from, then effectively we can put better quality parts on, usually for only 10 to $15 more per rotor than, a, than their low grade non-coded counterparts. Those are good things. Talk about brake pads too. Not all brake pads are gonna look the same and create a equal. Some of the brake pads are here, you see there's, there's just a standard finish. Whereas on this brake pad, which is actually for the similar vehicle, let's get it out of the box here for a second. You'll see a groove in that one, which is actually a groove for, for noise, um, but they are very similar brake pads. One is from one brand, one is from another. You have to leave it up to your technician to help you, the customer, choose what parts are right for your vehicle. So we're going to give you a, uh, we're take a quick break here. We're going to show you what a freshly uh, serviced brake looks like so you can kind of effectively know. And remember that the timeline on that is dependent on how much you drive the vehicle, where you drive the vehicle, and how long each average trip is. So now that I've given everybody a break, 
Everything's all cleaned up. We see nice brake lubricant on there. Our new rotor's installed. We have lubricant on the underside and top side of our squealers. We install the brake pads in the correct location as they were before, because that's part of a good service. And you notice how they snap right into place, as they should, and everything moves nice and free. And that's how it should be. It's so as simply as easy then as reinstalling your caliper. Oh, I should reinstall the brake caliper pins. Notice there's a difference. There's a top and bottom here. It's not rocket science stuff, guys, but it is important to know that you're getting a good brake job done when you're spending decent amounts of money. So we slide our caliper back on. We reinstall our brake pins as per. And we'll simply tighten those back up. Really, that's all there is to it. It doesn't have to be complicated, but it does have to be right. An educated customer is a, is a happy customer, and that's what we want at DG's. So remember, all things automotive, brakes, oil change, tire suspension, we do it all here at DG's. If you're in the local area, look us up. Hit up our Facebook page, Instagram, even our YouTube page for all these good videos. And we'll see you next time. Thanks from DG's Pro Tech.